In this video, I'll be doing the player ratings for Arsenal's 3-1 victory against Liverpool. Absolutely fantastic result, brilliant day, brilliant performance, very, very happy, Points just, uh, puts us two points behind them, sorry, and uh, yeah, absolutely buzzing. I mean, it'll probably be a longer player ratings because there's so many stats and, you know, lots I want to touch on because it was very, very positive, so in a good way, very, very happy with that. But getting straight into it, starting off with the goalkeeper, David Raya. David Raya, um, I'll give him a 7 out of 10, I think. The goal, me personally, I don't blame him for that. I've seen some people kind of blame him. Me personally, I think it's Saliba's fault. He just has to kick that away. Liar's far away. He's tried to come for it. He was never going to get there. Saliba should have dealt with it. And that led to the goal. So I don't think you can really blame him for that. Uh, other than that, I think he was fine. Distribution was very good, I thought. Up to Havertz, very good long balls. Uh, clearing crosses, very, very good. Always got a good grip of them. Uh, you know, very, very demanding. Brings calmness to the defense uh, you know when they're trying to press he literally stands there very composed with the ball at his feet so very good performance from David Raya and he's starting to very much play well so I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 a uh, solid performance from him uh, on to the right back it was a uh, Ben White Ben White I'm going to give Ben White an 8 out of 10 thought Ben White was absolutely fantastic and you can see that the buy trip has done him and many other players wonders he's been very very good you know, I was playing through injury. Looks like this one week or uh, he's playing once a week at the moment. So looks like it's doing um, uh, him very, very well. And uh, listen, was very much good. Uh, did well against Diaz. His recovery pace in the second half for one incident was very good. Kept in very quiet, Luis Diaz. And on the ball, especially the first half, was very silky with it. Doing little skills here and there. Going past uh, Diaz, going past, I think, Curtis Jones, little flick. So was very, very good. It didn't overlap as much, but overlapped when he needed to, but did his job. On the ball, good. Off the ball, good. Very, very good Ben White performance. Uh, I'll probably give him an 8 out of 10, as I said. Very, very good from him. Um, on to the centre-back, Saliba. Saliba's a difficult one. I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10, I think. I don't know if that's a bit harsh, because overall, I thought he did well. I thought Saliba had a pretty decent game and thought he did his job, but that incident, I mainly blame on him. Uh, blame on him sorry. Uh, I think it's mainly his fault. He really should be dealing with it i get what he's trying to uh, i get what he's trying to do trying to hold off diaz use his physicality and what's died uh, via to get it but listen if in doubt kick it, kick it out that's the old saying just put it away he doesn't do that he lets luis diaz uh, go around him which is credit to him does well but this Libra, in my opinion i think that's pretty poor he needs to be doing better there and uh, yeah that could have cost us but luckily the team kind of build him out in the second half so listen you know we got away with it in the end but that's a poor mistake and i kind of mainly blame him on, blame it on him i think he, he is, needs to be doing better there and he'll learn from it made a mistake against forest and now a mistake against liverpool let's hope he does better because not great mistakes that luckily didn't cost us but yeah not um, not ideal from Saliba. Uh, that's why I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Overall, though, I thought he did okay. But that's a big mistake that could have cost us. Um, Gabriel. Gabriel, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. I thought he was slightly better than Saliba. I uh, didn't think, he, you know, that own goal was his fault. It was his own goal. So I guess you have to kind of downgrade him for that. But well, not really his fault. Um, just hits off his hand and goes in. Uh, overall, though, I thought he had a very, very good game. Uh, kept Nunes quiet. Maybe some people think he's maybe fortunate not to get another yellow. Maybe, but I don't know. Um, um, yeah, so very, very good from Gabriel. Give him a 7 out of 10. Obviously, we did concede and he did score an own goal, which is why I probably won't give him an 8, even though it wasn't really his fault. So I'll stick with a 7 out of 10. Thought he was very, very good, Gabriel. And uh, yeah, one of the most underrated players, as I keep saying. So he, I'll give him a 7 and Sliba a 6. And um, onto the left back, Alexander Zinchenko. Zinchenko, gonna give him a 7 out of 10. I would have given him an, uh, I would have given him an 8. However, he did only play one half, so you can't give him too high. But thought the first half he did his job. And um, you know, defensively did well against I think Jota on that side as well. Did pretty decent. Uh, obviously, defensively, as I said, good. But obviously, going forward, uh, that little pass to Odegaard before he played it to Havertz for the first goal, very crucial. Very good with the ball at his feet, and we all we, you know worry about him defensively and. Uh, we, he did pretty well defensively so you know I'll tell you if it's uh, still early just to wait and see what his injury was like but hopefully it's not too long term and he should be okay but Zinchenko thought he had a good first half performance let's hope he's okay gonna give him a 7 out of 10 thought it was a very very good performance in that first half of course Jorginho um, in my opinion you can see him in the 6 or maybe racing the 6 either one they kind of interchange but Jorginho my personal man of the match 
probably, I'm probably going to give him a 10, you know. Don't really usually give 10s unless it's like a hat trick, but I think I'm going to give him a 10. So it was an absolutely flawless performance. I mean, you can see some of his numbers here. He had 70 touches, 24 passes into the final third, 7 duels won, 4 interceptions, 3 aerial duels won, 2 tackles, 2 clearances, 2 fouls won, 1 chance created as well. So listen, brilliant, brilliant performance. You saw Declan Rice saying that, you know, it's an honour to play with him. He learned so much. He got the Sky Sports player of the match, rightly so. And I'm going to give him my play, uh, personal man of the match. 10 out of 10. Thought it was absolutely superb. Very good. I mean, I never used to rate this guy at Chelsea. Thought it was a bit overrated. When he's come to Arsenal, though, had his little bit of criticism. But I think overall, it's been such a good signing, especially in the big games. Maybe not every game he suits, but in this kind of game against Man City, he was good. This game as well against Liverpool, absolutely brilliant. I mean, overall, just controlled the midfield him and race you know good passes unlucky not to get an assist a very intelligent pass to martinelli in the first half and then yeah very good winning duels winning tackles everywhere showing his experience absolutely brilliant performance from Jorginho. and listen i personally wouldn't mind giving him our extra year it depends on him though if does he want to stay and maybe be a bench player does he want to go elsewhere and start have to wait and see i think it might be up to him but listen what a performance and let's hope he can help us for the rest of the season but very useful player and they're absolutely buzzing with him 10 out of 10 in my opinion don't know if i'm being a bit generous you could give him a 9 but i'm going to give him a 10 i thought he was absolutely brilliant Jorginho and their brilliant signing only 11 million and what a player so listen brilliant from Jorginho you know one of the main reasons we won the game and yeah absolutely brilliant so my personal man of the match i'm gonna give him our 10 out of 10 and on to his partner declan rice declan rice i'm gonna i'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10 just because i thought Jorginho was a little bit better but thought declan rice was absolutely brilliant again again you can see some of his numbers here 66 touches six duels won he won possession five times five entries into the final third four tackles three crosses two chances created two interceptions so listen absolutely brilliant performance first half him and Jorginho that pivot was absolutely dominating the game they did it in the FA Cup and today we did it again so they were superb we you know the reason why we were uh, on top in that first half those two those two were absolutely brilliant race intercepting loads went on a little good run second half as well and you can see he, he was a br brilliant at the start and some people saying he's fallen off just a little bit but listen, this was an absolutely brilliant performance from Declan Rice and I couldn't be happy with him. 100 million, we all know that, you know, Arsenal, nobody's talking about his price tag. You know why? He's an absolutely brilliant player and the price tag doesn't matter when you perform. So brilliant from Declan Rice. Him and Jorginho, I imagine we'll be seeing a lot of that in big games. So those two are absolutely superb and we're going to give uh, Declan Rice a 9 out of 10. Martin Odegaard, Odegaard, I'm going to I'm gonna give Odegaard an 8 out of 10. I thought Odegaard was very good again. I mean, first of all, the pass for Havertz didn't get the assist I mean he's been robbed of so many assists this season you have to say but yeah the pass for Havertz I mean that is not an easy pass whatsoever it's a bouncing ball the weight of pass to put it right in front of Havertz that is genuinely a magnificent pass not easy whatsoever nails it to perfection and overall the pressing he did the distance he covers is absolutely brilliant he organizes us brilliant brilliant captain absolutely love him and uh, yeah didn't get a direct goal contribution probably should have with the assist but is what it is and i thought he was absolutely brilliant couldn't be happier to, for him to be the captain and listen he's been criticized of maybe not stepping up in the big games but today and um, sorry not today on sunday he did and uh, yeah brilliant absolutely fantastic performance from martin odegaard and when he's on it when he plays well arsenal play well and when he, he plays very well arsenal are a very beautiful team to watch so he is one of the main pieces of the team and i thought he was very very good odegaard gonna give him a uh, eight out of ten uh, on to bikaro saka saka i'm gonna give saka uh, uh, 8 out of 10 as well to be honest I, was, I thought Saka was very good I and mean, you can see the stat from uh, TNT Sports that he has had 24 goal contributions in 30 games in all competitions this season I mean that is I mean pfft. What can you say? That is very, very good. Even in games where we criticised him saying he's not really been that good. So maybe like Crystal Palace in the 5-0 win, he wasn't great. He still got an assist. So listen, when he's not playing well, he can still contribute. And that's what you need. And he played well against Liverpool. Got the goal. Right place, right time, you have to say. Uh, you know, got in that position. When Havertz missed it, scored it. 
open net. Sco should have scored one before that, but listen, he scored and they're very, very good. Was always a threat against Joe Gomez as well, and I uh, thought he caused him some good problems too. So I thought Saka was very, very good. You can tell he was up for it. 8 out of 10. Him and White, that uh, Dubai little break, has done those two very, very good. So I thought that combination, you know, very much, um, very much worked and, you know, wasn't working before. So it looks like it's working again. And those two, again, brilliant. But Saka, what a player, what a performance. 8 out of 10. Very, very happy with him. Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli, I'm going to, I'm think, I'm going to give him a 9, I think, actually. I was thinking he said with Saka, 8. I'm going to give him a 9 as well. Thought he was, um, thought he was very, very good, uh, Gabriel Martinelli. Very, very good. I mean, you can see some of his numbers here. Four touches in the opposition box. Three crosses. Three duels won. He won possession uh, three times in the final third. Two shots. One chance created. One shot on target. One goal. I mean, before the goal, he was a threat. I mean, the first half where he outpaced Kanate. That Kanate is super fast. And Martinelli has the ball. That is so difficult. Does it brilliantly. Should have had an assist. And first half was causing them problems all the time. His dribbling, his interception, the way he works hard. Him and Saka always do that and first half he was you know terrorizing them and second half listen i know the goal is um very poor from van dyke and allison but you have to be there he gives a little nudge to van dyke not enough for a foul but enough to put him off very very good and creates the open goal for him for himself so i know it's a mess up for liverpool but credit to martinelli for being there gets the open goal uh, very very good so that's another goal against liverpool and you can see here his record against liverpool that a uh, gabriel martinelli has scored five goals against liverpool his joint most versus a single side foot off no level with Crystal Palace of course that's also in addition to no players directly involved in more league goals against them since the start of last term three goals to insist so you can see he loves playing Liverpool very good very good impact you know in that Cowboy Cup game under Emery ever since last season as well he scored at Anfield got an assist at Anfield last season and um, you know and this season scored again and listen it was a nuisance all game to them so you can see he gave uh, at Anfield I thought Canati got the better of him this one I thought was more even I thought Martinelli just went out on top so listen very good for Martinelli we all know that he's not maybe scored the most goals this season but he's starting to score more starting to get involved more and that's obviously credit to him so very very good was surprised that he came off early but it was so fair enough to him and very very good performance from Gabriel Martinelli I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 very very impressed and then moving on to the final starting player which was Kai Havertz Havertz I thought lots of mixed opinions on him I thought it was a good performance I'm gonna I'm not sure 8 I'm thinking 8 or 7 I'm gonna, I'll give him a 7 thought it was a good performance from Kai Havertz yes I know he should have scored that goal uh, you know got fortunate that it fell right to Saka and if he didn't score that and we you know didn't score from that position then he would have got you know criticized a lot more but didn't score it. but you can see Havertz he causes them a po uh, problems all the time against Kanate he got two yellow cards against Kanate got Kanate sent off when we're in trouble Rai goes long Havertz can hold it up link play and do very well so you can see these little things in big games he's very good and they're uh, unlucky not to score as I said but you can see he's a very good tactical weapon as well you know and um, I do know that 65 million we paid is too much but for a little weapon in big games in transitions thinking be he, he can be very very good he's a very useful player his it's just a shame his final action is very very poor such as the last pass the last shot stuff like that but his overall game i think it's actually pretty good especially in these kind of games when you're playing on the transition so he could be useful for champions league football he might be big for that but i thought Havertz was good good overall performance should have scored didn't but good hold up play good link up play and up front when jesus was out we needed him i think i think he helped out the team very very well so i'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 you could even up that to an 8 because yeah, i thought he did very very well should have scored but a good overall Overall performance as I said and um, moving on to the subs it was Leandro Trossard he came on first Trossard listen very very good performance I thought Leandro Trossard uh, came on you know I was, I was questioning the sub but that just shows why Arteta is the manager he um, came on did well you know kept the ball and the goal he scored goes past Harvey Elliott puts it left foot bottom court well not bottom corner takes a deflection Allison through his legs gets the goal to seal it good uh, little cameo off the bench I'll give him I'll give him an 8 out of 10 for a cameo very very good underrated player as well because listen he doesn't get too much game time doesn't start all the time but when he comes on he always w wants to contribute and in my opinion that's what he did very very good from Trossard absolutely love him and sealed the game that's an important goal overall very good 
very big threat and listen he's the first sub for a reason so good performance from Leandro Trossard I thought 8 out of 10 off the bench Reese Nelson came on it after Trossard not too long after just gonna give him a 6 out of 10 did his job came on for Saka let's hope Saka isn't too bad but Arteta said he should be okay uh, yeah Reese Nelson did okay 6 out of 10 uh, on to oh no Jacob Kiwio actually I almost forgot about Kiwio and um, he came on at half time for Zinchenko because he had a little injury and Kiwio listen I thought it was a good performance gonna gonna give him a 7 out of 10 thought left back you're thinking mm, you you know, we don't really like him there. Thought defensively, very, very good. And, um, you know, doing well against Diaz, Jota, good little interceptions and tackles here and there. And um, should have scored, actually. I don't know what he was doing in that position. Should have scored 3 1. We didn't score. Uh, but yeah, he was in that position. I got an assist as well, actually, for Chaucer's goal. But yeah, listen, very, very good uh, keyboard. Very useful player. Want to see more of him, but going to be uh, hard to see more of him because we have so much quality in defence but good depth player and uh, when he came on you need your bench player to do a job he did that 7 out of 10 thought it was a good bench cameo and I believe that's all the subs yep that's all the subs uh, only made 3 this time and on to the guy who made the subs of course it was Mikel Arteta Arteta listen um, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well kind of like Jorginho I thought he got the lineup spot on you're thinking is he going to change the midfield he did he did uh, Jorginho and Rice when we lost at the Emirates I don't really blame him because because um, I thought, you know, that's not really his fault because we missed chances. And this game, we played well first half. 1-1 half time, not his fault. And then we came out second half under pressure a bit. We scored and did very, very well. And you can see the uh, XG, I always bring that in. Arsenal 3.76 and Liverpool 0 0.41. We absolutely dominated them, did very, very well. You know, they barely created anything. I do understand there's a bit of context behind that XG because the sack at rebound, the Martinelli open net. But in my opinion, I think we dominated. And you can see actually that that XG of 3.52, they've got a little bit less, but is a 3.52 is the most Liverpool have ever faced in a Premier League game I and mean, you can see what a, what a brilliant team Liverpool have actually been over the years where you know where you'd be winning Premier Leagues and all that and you know when they were poor they've never conceded that much XG we've we've given them the most ever and listen that's absolutely sensational for us that is absolutely brilliant very very good and you can see what we've done making Liverpool suffer that much making uh, us dominant that much first half we should have been more than one it was and we did very very well and this was um, a high pressurized game 100% because if we lost eight points behind that's it a jaw's really not that good either but we won we're two points behind them right in this title race you know lots of um, people saying you have to win lots of pressure we did win we did it and that's what the manager did he got everything spot on 10 out of 10 for Mikel Arteta he uh, got criticized for a celebration listen I love it the whole team got criticized for that but listen I, I don't get that but it's what it is and um, also you can see here the stat from TNT Sport but Arsenal are unbeaten against the big six in the Premier League this season. We've not lost to any. We've beaten Man City, Liverpool. Uh, we beat Man United too. We lost. No, we didn't lose. We drew to Chelsea and Spurs though. Um, we could have won those, but is what it is. Uh, you know, it just shows how much Arteta can set us up in big games. In big games, there's very little in the world that are better than this guy in, you know, just pure tactics and pure setting up a team in big games. So, you know, when it comes to the big games, I don't doubt, oh, is the manager going to get this right? I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking are the players going to perform are the players going to do this because in the first half we set up brilliantly wasn't his fault that we were drawing so listen I trust Arteta in the big games just up to the players and against Liverpool the players did very very well and we won the game so absolutely superb and our record against the big six is absolutely brilliant so 10 out of 10 for Arteta and so happy with the whole team of course and then just as a little summary listen absolutely buzzing we all know we're now what two points behind Liverpool in the Premier League Man City still have to play so you know we're right back in the title race if we had lost eight points behind that's it we dealt with the pressure we you know we did very well first half absolutely dominant Liverpool getting you know equal with us without a shot on target thanks to our own mistake and then second half they you know had the better start but as soon as Van Dijk and Allison made that mistake thought we would we were the better team they didn't really threaten Raya too much thought Liverpool from their perspective weren't really that good think they know that we deserve to win we were the better team at the Emirates and you know kind of to show everybody that we're serious because they uh, after that little blip against West Ham Fulham and Liverpool people were thinking our oh, typical Arsenal and listen we might still not win it because we're up against two fantastic teams but listen not going to be uh, easy whatsoever but it just shows that we're not we're no walkover when you're coming to the Emirates you can't expect an easy game and we won absolutely brilliant and super super happy with that as I was saying earlier a little bit of criticism over the celebrations people saying oh you're over celebrating I don't get that I've already said that you know it's you win a game against a big six team to put yourself back in the title race celebrate how you want 
people saying, oh, you're over-celebrating. It's absolutely ridiculous, but that's what the media get. Instead of talking about Arsenal's brilliant performance and, you know, what they did right, oh, you're over-celebrating. It's genuinely the coverage that the media get in the UK is sometimes very poor, but is what it is. Us Arsenal fans know how well we did and we can celebrate however we want. But, yep, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think I've been, you know, pretty spot on? Do you think I've got some player ratings wrong as well? Let me know your thoughts on that. And watch out, there might be a daily Arsenal news video coming out maybe tomorrow. I'll have to wait and see when that comes out. So watch out for that. And obviously the West Ham stuff after that. We have to be winning that West Ham game or this game really doesn't mean too much if we end up dropping points there. So listen, hope we can do that. And uh, yeah, so as I said, let me know all your thoughts about the celebrating as well. Do you maybe think we're over celebrating? Or do you agree with me saying that? Nope, doesn't matter. You won. Celebrate however you want as well. So very, very happy with that, of course. Bit of a longer video only because I wanted to bring in quite a few, you know, stats stuff like that and uh, yeah very very happy i want to give every player the credit which is why it's a little bit longer but listen hope you've you made it to the end really hope you've enjoyed it and yeah make sure you leave a like if you have enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe to the channel as well and uh, make sure you check out the other live stream i did i talked about the liverpool game the live stream make sure you check out or check that out sorry if you haven't already seen it but as for this video again leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one